Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick review of some brand new mascaras that Sigma Beauty recently launched. They sent these to me a few weeks ago, so I've been putting them to the test between then and now. And not only are these the first mascaras to launch from the brand, but the premise behind them is pretty unique. So for those reasons, I wanted to come on here and share my thoughts with you. So let's get started with this review. For starties, starties? <laughs> I don't know where that word came from. For starters, these retail for $19 individually, pretty on par with Sigma, but still relatively steep compared to something that is drugstore priced. The idea behind them is that the formula, each of these contains the same formula, but depending on what exactly you want to do with your lashes, whether it is curl at length or build volume, the, each of these wands is meant to target whatever that desire may be. For instance, Let's start with Sinuosity Lash. This is a mascara that I recently used in my one, one and done shadow tutorial with the Marc Jacobs Beauty Twinkle Pop Eye Stick. This is the mascara that I used and because this curls, the this has a wand that is kind of rubberized, it's kind of banana shaped, I guess, and its form is targeted to curling the lashes as you apply it. Likewise, the mascara called High Caliber Lash has sort of an hourglass shaped wand that is more fibrous and less rubber and meant more for adding length to your lashes. And the last one is Monumental Lash, and this has a, a really interesting wand where it is fibrous, it's not rubberized. It has kind of this hourglass shape, but it also has this interesting tapered tip here at the end so that you can really get into the outer and inner corners with, a more, with more precision so you're not getting mascara everywhere. The formula of all of these, like I said, is the same. It's somewhere between a thick and a thin. It's not super dry and clumpy, and yet it's not watery. For me, it's it's a very comfy feeling formula. You can apply it and layer it up. Your lashes, they don't feel completely natural, but they don't feel really crunchy either. You can layer it up into nice thin layers so that you can go twice, sometimes even three times, depending on the wand you're using, and your lashes still don't get that spidery look, and they don't feel like uncomfortable at the end of the day. Sometimes it feels like my lashes are just so rigid and it makes my eyes hurt at the end of the day. Haven't experienced that with these despite layering them up. They claim to be super long wearing, although not waterproof they are they claim to be water resistant lasting 13 hours plus i personally have experienced that like i've mentioned in many previous videos it is crazy hot here in austin texas and so these have definitely been put to the test applying them early in the morning before work and wearing them well into the night after being in the heat during the day taking the dog to the dog park at night you know these to me for my lifestyle they have gone through the best and the worst like as good as it's gonna get and as hot and sweaty as it's gonna get and i have not experienced any streaking smudging uh, flaking budging with these at all but because they're not waterproof they are impossible to get off at the end of the day. What I find is that I will have to work a little bit harder and it'll come off more so like the last of it will come off in kind of flakiness. Not to say it flakes during the day, but just as I'm removing it, it will come off in flakes, but I don't notice any missing lashes. It doesn't hurt to get off of my lashes. Not that any mascara should, but waterproof formulas do tend to do that on me. So good news there. It is long lasting without being impossible to remove. And across the board, I find that the formula really holds whatever shape it creates depending on the wand that you use. Because ultimately that's what's going to determine the way your lashes look. But whether or not the formula holds that shape throughout the day is entirely up to the formula. And I can easily say that this definitely did the job regardless of the wand that I used. And now to talk about what I feel like is the bigger question overall here, which is can you actually tell a difference between what each of these wands does to your lashes? Because if you can, ideally you'd be able to pick the one that does what you want your lashes to accomplish, and then it's it. You don't have to buy each of these in order to get the perfect lash. You can pick the one that you know has the wand that's right for you. You get the point. Essentially, I do feel like you can tell a difference. However, on my lashes, they weren't necessarily the differences I was expecting. For example, example, uh, the Sinuosity Lash, I do find added a lot of curl to my lash. However, I do feel like it added more length as well. More length, in fact, than the mascara that was actually supposed to lengthen my lashes, which is the High Caliber Lash. The same can be said for the Monumental Mascara as well. I do feel like it added volume, but I also feel like it lengthened my lashes more so than the High Caliber Lash. So that's not to say that I don't recommend the High Caliber because I do like what it did to my lashes 
lashes, but if you're going after these for the intent that they, that the brush was supposedly made for, you might not necessarily get what you're after. And in my experience, if I were to recommend this to someone for the sake of length, I would recommend the Sinuosity or the Monumental over the high caliber. My overall favorite from the trio is the Monumental Lash because I am always looking for more volume, so the fact that I could get it with some additional length was right up my alley. And I do want to talk about how it compares to a previous favorite. This is a mascara that I've talked about repeatedly over the past few months because it was my favorite and it's drugstore mascara. So that's another reason why I wanted to compare it here because I feel like it's important to talk about whether or not it's really worth the high end price tag as opposed to, you know, $7 as opposed to 19. So my former favorite has been CoverGirl's The Super Sizer. I liked it for the exact same reasons that I like the Monumental Lash. It gave me volume with a nice compromise between length and curl. But after looking at the comparison between what CoverGirl's The Super Sizer does and the Monumental Lash does, I like what the Monumental Lash does more and the lasting power is just as good. And I do find the Sigma formula to be a little bit more comfortable. The Super Sizer um, with some additional layering could get that uh, crunchy, uncomfortable feeling. Nothing too major, obviously, because it still managed to be a favorite for me, but just when comparing the two, the CoverGirl does tend to be a little bit more rigid, especially when layered up. So I just wanted to include that in there for the sake of comparison, especially since I have been raving about CoverGirls lately. That is not to say it's a bad mascara. I still definitely would recommend it, but I think it's pretty apparent in a side-by-side -side comparison of the two, the difference that it makes. And I know a lot of you guys have said that you haven't liked how much it beefs up your lashes, how much kind of, some of you say clumpiness, some of you say volume, um, but regardless, it does add a lot of product. So I find that the Monumental Lash, you can get the volume with Without necessarily adding that much product. So those are my thoughts overall. I would definitely recommend this formula. Like I said, I really think you only have to get one because they are supposed to be targeted towards your lash needs. The issue, biggest issue I find will be finding out which wand works for you. Cause like I said, in my experience, not all of them did exactly what they said they would. They were good, but they didn't necessarily come out as expected. So that's the biggest hurdle with these I find, but Personally, like I said, would really recommend them. And my favorite is the Monumental Lash. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.